Hey there, this is James Darknell from The Foundry. In this series of videos, I'll be covering all of the basics on using the new Mesh Fusion workflow introduced in Moto 10.2. If you haven't yet watched the Getting Started video, I highly recommend you do that for a solid overview of Mesh Fusion's changes. In this video, I'll specifically be covering working with strips. Now, if you aren't familiar with strips, these are the connecting geometry that are automatically generated at the intersections between fusion objects, creating the smooth contoured surface. Now, if you remember from previous versions of Mesh Fusion, oftentimes the strips were generated automatically. In version 10.2 and moving forward, we've simplified this approach. So now in 10.2, we don't automatically generate the strips. They're sort of assumed. So anytime you have a Mesh Fusion object, if you want to adjust the width or the settings of these strips, you can select your Fusion object and you can come in here and you can adjust that value and affect them all at the same time. Of course, there's still going to be instances where you're going to want to affect these strip values individually, much like you did in previous versions of Mesh Fusion, and that's here in the Fusion Strips. So in order to generate those strips, we're just going to select the Update Strip Items. So now you'll see all of those strip items have been created. So you can click on one, and then that'll open up this little dialog box for selecting additional strips, or you can click on these hauling values here and that will allow you to actually haul in the viewport here to adjust the scale interactively or with the little dialog popped up you can go here and enter it manually just for one hit spacebar to drop that and click to drop your selection now if you want to edit multiples at the same time I can select one click away hold down my shift key and click another now when I edit them and start hauling, you can see it'll add the same amount to both of the values. However, if I hold down the control key, it'll scale them both proportionally. And the beauty of the edited strips now are the fact that even though we've adjusted the values, we can still go in here and our object is still fully interactive and we can adjust it and move it around and do whatever we need to do and it'll retain those settings. So that is the basics of working with strips in Mesh Fusion. Thanks for watching.